Two men who led the fight to legalize same-sex marriage in Texas are now a married couple. That's right. Mark Ferris and Vic Holmes sued the state of Texas nearly two years ago. Today, the battle ended at the altar. Here's NBC5's Collin County reporter Meredith Yeomans. It's a moment Mark Ferris and Vic Holmes never thought would happen. The moment almost everyone thinks about at some point in life. But for them, getting to the altar took a fight. Completely worth it, by the way. The couple began dating 18 years ago. They say they initially hid their love because Holmes was in the military. Fast forward to 2014, the couple found themselves embroiled in a legal battle with the state of Texas over the constitutionality of same-sex marriage. I remember there were some politicians who declared that this day would never occur. And they, I think they maybe said there would be a cold day in hell. Well, we just had a cold day and we just got married and it was fantastic. Their legal battle is not lost on their wedding day either. American flags carried their rings to the altar, the same flags that flew over the U.S. Capitol the day of the Supreme Court's hearing and decision to legalize same-sex marriage. The couple also carried copies of the U.S. Constitution in their jackets. I'm confident I'll carry it with us for the rest of our lives. The cake, one of them, has a connection too. And though many jumped at the chance to wed when it became legal. We wanted the day on our terms at our time and today is our time. And hearing these words. I pronounce that they are married under the laws of the state of Texas. They say <laughs> was worth the wait. In Frisco, Meredith Yeomans, NBC5.